Well, I had a leak the other day. I bought this trailer in 2000 and I never had been behind the refrigerator here and had this access panel off. It had this access panel over it. But anyway, it was spewing big time around this. Uh, uh, surprisingly enough, the cold side, the left one there, from the shower. And it was... I don't know why these trailers use, uh, let me get back in here, I can already squeeze through out of that refrigerator, but these trailers use this line here that's like a little quickie, it's called, by Tough Line, T-U-F-L-I-N-E. I can't find that stuff anywhere, it's got like a 7 8 inch ball cock connector, like on a toilet. So... And then it's got them connected down here at the bottom, too. You can see. Well, anyway, water was coming out up at this one. So, I tightened it. And this one had been leaking, too, apparently. I ended up tightening it. And I got two hands and got it tightened to where it finally would quit leaking, long story short. Well, I had to get under there. The insulation was absolutely soaked. So I had to get down there, tear out a bunch of insulation. And it had went over to the center part, too. I don't know how it climbed up the insulation. I thought I had another leak. I hope I don't have another leak, but there was nothing under there. No leak, no water lines. So it had to climb up the, you know, where the insulation dips up. Uh, on the trailer frame and go over into the center. I like a figure. And it was running pretty hard. Just lucky I heard it when I did. I guess. I don't know how long it had been doing it. But. <clears throat> it looked like bolts had been leaking a little bit. So. To try to prevent the insulation from being done that way again. To where I could catch it quicker. I put this plastic in here and taped it at an angle a little bit to where it'll flow down. Hopefully when it hits that plastic, I'll be able to hear it dripping onto it. And it's gonna run over into that bowl, any excess water. And that'll give me time to shut the water off, hopefully. And then I put a piece down underneath of these too to where, same thing. Any of that leaks, I should be able to hear it. But I'd like to do away with this 20 year old line. But I think you can buy new gaskets for those. I had my washing machine had a leak issue with one as well. I tightened it, put some epoxy around the top part of the fitting on it right there. Because I can't find the line. Nobody sells these lines now. So if anybody knows anyone that sells that, I've looked online, I've looked everywhere. But anyway. Just to show, that's kind of what my, because the insulation replacing yesterday was horrible, horrible job getting out of there cutting all that. I mean, I got four big bags of insulation garbage back, uh, tuck out and then put new in. But anyway, anybody knows anything about these lines, 7 8 inch, this is half inch pipe too, by the way. Or any other way I could do this that would be more reliable then let me know. And they don't have no shutoff valves on none of this stuff either. I don't like that. I could put a shutoff valve, I guess, easy enough. Uh, well, not easy here because the main pipe is down there where you can't get to it hardly. But <clears throat> anyway, maybe I can use some other connector here some way. But uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.